Do not belittle these people. Do not destroy their character. Do not assassinate their character by saying they are puppets and stooges and they were paid and their businesses should be boycotted. It was a, a photo up for the president. Hello. Not for y'all, come 2024, not for the footage and all of that. Dying PPI because y'all is political gimmicks. This is what I'm going to use y'all for. They're very smart people, but your mentality is in the gutters. It's in the gutters. But there is a particular pomposity and arrogance about people in the PPP. We have to decide, do we really want honestly love and unity? Do these persons honestly want love and unity? Look at the hypocrisy. And we, res we respect you and we love you and we welcome you and we this sorry that. We speak for yourself. Or speak for me. We speak language. She cross over, hanging she mouth with the soup. What soup dropping? I've been doing for my country. And they're on the attack. Like me, I can boast about that. Like Mark Bench Cap, like others. And they did not even challenge that. The government is telling them that I can come into the rat diaspora and kill you and serve you with anything and threaten to kill you. And nobody could do anything about it. And they're like, hey, Mr. President, Mr. That's called betrayal. We will bury the walls of the haters. We'll crumble the foundation of the haters will destroy the superstructure of the haters. We don't want division in Guyana. And I hope you guys can go back and listen to the, the, to the audio. What I did wrong. The people who are facilitating the apartheid administ rulers, the apartheid rulers like Ali, the people who are facilitating them, have people speaking out for them, representing them. They don't want to see our people together. They don't want to see our people coming together because this does not fit their narrative. This does not fit their agenda. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. There's nothing wrong with, I'm speaking directly about what happened in Brooklyn Friday. Nothing wrong with a president coming into a community. But there is a particular pomposity and arrogance about people in the PPP whose message is I can kill you to silence you I can kill your people to silence them and I can get away with it and I can come into your community pay some people some money bribe them or promise them stuff, induce them, and they will bring me into your community and you can't do anything about it. That's the way I feel. The arrogance and the pomposity. Now, if you're going to facilitate the invaders, the slave masters, the imperialists, if you're going to facilitate the modern day ones, if you are like Orphan Ali and Bar Jackdale, if you are, keep sharing the link, if you are going to facilitate them, 
Challenge them about the injustices. Challenge them about the extrajudicial killings. Challenge them about the abuse of government to attack our people who speak out on their own behalf. The people who are facilitating the apartheid administ rulers, the apartheid rulers like Ali, the people who are facilitating them have people speaking out for them, representing them. And they're under attack. Like me, I can boast about that. Like Mark Benchcraft, like others. And they did not even challenge that. The government is telling them that I can come into the diaspora and kill you and serve you with anything and threaten to kill you. And nobody could do anything about it. And they're like, hey, Mr. President, Mr. That's called betrayal. And tonight I issue a warning. CJID issued a statement tonight, which I support. We can't support those people anymore. Some of them are my friends. But when it comes to my people. Oh, Mr. President, he get his photo up and he get his pictures. Because not for you and I, PP, um. Not for y'all and the campaign, the campaign at car them pictures and say yeah, not for y'all take out smiling. Oh Mr. President, we res we respect you and we love you and we welcome you and we this and we that. We speak for yourself or speak for me. We speak language. You understand? While it was a picture moment for some, while it was a picture moment for some of y'all. While it was a picture up and a picture moment for some of y'all, and it was an opportunity, it wasn't a photo up for the president. Hello, not for y'all, they come 2024, not for the footage and all of that. They ain't PP ad because y'all is political gimmicks. This is what I'm going to use y'all for. This is what y'all use y'all video, y'all pictures and all in a lovely political ad y'all. They come 2024, pushing the narrative that they want y'all to push. Pushing the political narrative that they want y'all to push. You see the pictures, them end up on the PP page, or they're gonna end up on all them propaganda page, living Guyana, they're gonna end up in thing. Meanwhile, there are black brothers and sisters who can't get certain jobs, can't they get blacklisted. I get a whole list of them that blacklisted, can't get work, can't get jobs. We can't speak out against the government, we can't speak out against this government. Not just black, some Indians they're doing that too. The own Indian they're doing that too as well. The only come on me page only says something. Victimization. The family can't work, they can't work. Delta 9 family, welcome back. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that like button because this is a channel unlike no other when it comes to presenting content for Guyanese and those in the diaspora at a very high quality. I know we like good things. We don't like things with just, you know, saying so look like if you draft together the information that is in it don't even really correspond with the title saying and everything. Now nah, please bring real content here and today we're talking about a real situation we're going on in gt right now we're talking about a real situation we're going on not only in gt but it spill all the way over to every way with gt people there in new york and all over the diaspora because everybody talking about it this boycott situation is serious it is serious you hear what go on before right there you hear what was going on in the videos before you heard what melly mel had to say right she had her perspectives and her perspectives are grounded in a lot of proof that she can present because she knows why she holds that perspective about what's going on here and why she feels how she feels about this situation no very respectable very respected 
members of the community over in the US, I could tell you, Burke and Mr. Ben Schkopp, they do a lot. They be around. I see them on the ground and they be in and out making moves and doing things for people all the time. So they got a very grounded perspective. They got a perspective that you got to give an ear to and you got to sometimes listen to the other side too. So you could get your own. Because guess what? We one sided over here. We want to hear everybody's perspective. Right, Afi? What do you think about this? Yes, it was great to hear both sides because all you were seeing is boycott, boycott, boycott. But you weren't getting the real reason why they were saying to boycott. You weren't hearing that, hey, I spoke to these people probably a couple hours before he came there. And then some of his calls were going unanswered. Hey, yes, we're not saying that he shouldn't have been there, but ask the right question. It hmm. seems like no one that was there was presenting the matters that was going on on the ground, the situations that's going on right now, like what's going on in Mocha, Mocha Arcadia, like what's yes. going on right now with our brothers and sisters on the ground that got move off from one of the most busiest places, one of the most busiest and most lucrative areas in the city off of the seawalls so that they could do development and i wonder how and when and if they will ever be able to come back there because guess what when them hotel go back right next to queen's college there you know how much hotel is going to be in that vicinity and that seawall is going to change forever we're talking multi-millions and multi 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 millions of dollars in business and they're getting cut out of it so the victimization and the questions about many other things many many other things persons are saying was not raised and it should have been raised because if you have a person like that in your presence then you should address certain very potent issues but no guess what we're gonna get into a conversation with the persons that were actually there. We're gonna hear from the two people that's causing all the rumble in Brooklyn because the hug up and the love that was shared between the two of them has got a lot of people talking. It's got a lot of people now saying, hey, don't buy nothing from over there and don't buy nothing from over there. But we're gonna hear from the owner herself and we're gonna hear directly from the head of state. They're very smart people. But your mentality is in the gutters. It's in the gutters. Because the PPP, they're, they're the leader of our country. We are the opposition. We can have, we can sit down and have conversations. Why? If it's not the black, it's the Indian. If it's not the Indian, it's the black. And a, a lot of you kissing up to these people very much on the cover. Yes, that is what I mean, Esther. That is what I meant yesterday when I said, you're the leader. You have to respect us. We don't want division in Guyana. And I hope you guys can go back and listen to the, the, to the audio. What I did wrong to have him there, when I have AP and UAFC there, Granger was there. So many times Armand came there. Are you guys kidding me? You know why you guys can talk like that? Because you don't have a business. And you don't know what is it to have a business. And then you go under pressure like what you guys trying to put me under. But like I said, can't break me. She cross over, hanging she out with the soup. What soup dropping? I've been doing for my country. I've been doing for my country. I came here in 1990, and every year I go back and give back to my country. What are you talking about? Some of you guys can't even go home. You 
can't even go home. Give me a break. Give me a break. And leave me alone. Because I'm not here to violate nor disrespect anyone. But all I'm saying to you, don't come for me. I receive many, many messages and calls from Brooklyn. And I had to speak tonight. I had to speak tonight in honor of the integrity of those persons who welcome me and my team. Do not belittle these people. Do not destroy their character. Do not assassinate their character by saying they are puppets and stooges and they were paid and their businesses should be boycotted. What manner of behavior is this? Is this what Hakim Jeffries will support? I do not think so. I do not think so because he should understand how important it is to stand on the right side of history. And I would urge you to share that press release, to share the live from the head of the CGID and to share all the videos and photos which are elected officials and ask them what are you guilty of? We have to decide do we really want honestly love and unity? Do these persons honestly want love and unity? Look at the hypocrisy he would have loved for me to come to the U.S. and not go to Brooklyn because, again, he would have got an opportunity to preach the separate spot. My dear friends, in the diaspora, you're an important part of our future. You're an important part of building a stronger Guyana. You're an important part of building prosperity in every home. This opportunity gives us a point of honest reflection. It gives you an opportunity to measure these leaders by their action, to measure these leaders by their narrative, to measure these leaders, these so-called leaders, by what exactly is their selfish desire. They don't want to see our people together. They don't want to see our people coming together because this does not fit their narrative. This does not fit their agenda. Together. All of the USA, all of New York, our diaspora, we are going to work together and present the greatest show in New York, the show of Guyana. 100% wildcrafted CMOS from nature by natives. Why pay more? He, look at the perception that is created about him by smelly smell. A fucking no entity degenerate hungry belly low life for one.